call Sylvia Earle a marine biologist to me is like calling Stephen Hawking a book writer or Steve Jobs a computer salesman. I don't think it does justice to you. I think of you as an explorer. And also, I know, read you were the first woman, but I believe you're the only person before or since to um, descend to 1,250 feet. So for all Canadians, that's what, 381 meters. I do not think of myself as an activist, I think of myself as a witness. I'm a scientist. Can you give us some sense as to how you think about the ocean and oh, how yeah. you, we should be thinking about it? I think of the ocean as life, the source of all life. No water, no life. No ocean, no us. We are so good at consuming the natural world to foster our prosperity, but we thought it would never run out. I teamed up with some engineers to start a company to build submarines. <laughs> Excellent <laughs> and, entrepreneur. And under, underwater robots, hundreds of underwater robots, lots of them. You know, you need to keep this cycle going and it's been going for hundreds of millions of years. And then we come along and it's like running bulldozers through the ocean, clear cutting the accumulations of what has taken all preceding time to generate the cod, to generate the squid, to generate the whatever it is that we have been taking out of the ocean, thinking that it's infinite, but now we are paying the price. What have you seen? What's been the difference just from a you know, visual point of view? I think the good news is there are more whales because we stopped killing them for the most part. More turtles, sea turtles, because we stopped killing them. There's some places where we, we said, or the fishermen actually said, the fish, we have to go further offshore and it's dangerous and our, what we used to be able to get here, we now have to go out there and then but there's nothing more out there. So they stopped the killing and changed their way of life. Everybody- it feels overwhelming. Everybody has power and humans have superpowers. The problem is we're burdened by habits burdened by policies that were shaped back then. But there's cause for hope because people are beginning to embrace nature and making changes in their everyday individual lives that stack up. We've got seven billion minds yeah. now connected as never before. I love that. Seven billion minds and thank you for giving us some access to yours. So please join me in thanking Dr. Earl.